एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Welcome back to the second part of the video. So, in first part of the video, we have learned about the Cauchy-Riemann equation and the relation between Cauchy-Riemann equation and analyticity of any function. Welcome to S. Chand Academy. Myself, Dr. Nilam. So, for more details, you can refer to the book from S. Chand Publishing. Details are given on this side, and link is given in the description box. So. next in order we will study the harmonic function before harmonic function we must know what is a laplace equation so first we will uh, study the laplace equation for uh, complex variable so laplace equation for complex variable of course for complex function sorry so if fz is equals to u x y that is if it is written in terms of real and imaginary part as u x y and iota v x y is analytic every is analytic is analytic in a domain d then u and v u x y and v x y satisfies satisfies the laplace equation satisfies the laplace equation and we know the laplace equation is nebula square u is equals to 0 so since uh, this uh, satisfies both the both the parts satisfies the laplace equation therefore it will be written as nebula square u is equal to 0 and nebula square v equals to 0 so the meaning of that is u x x plus u y y is equals to 0 and v x x plus v y y is equals to 0 where the subscript x x and y y stands for the second order partial derivative of u with respect to x u with respect to y and similarly u v with respect to x and v with respect to y so uh, u and v we know that they are the real and imaginary part of the complex variable if they satisfies this uh, laplace equation then and they have they have continuous continuous second order partial derivative continuous second order partial derivative so now we should understand the relation between the laplace equation and the harmonic equation so if such u and v exist then they will be called as the harmonic function then u x y and v x y will be called as harmonic function harmonic function we know that u and v they are nothing but the real and imaginary part of a complex variable now they are since fz is analytic therefore both of them will satisfy cr equations both of them are satisfying cr equations and both of them are satisfying the laplace equation they are called as a harmonic function and since they are the real and imaginary part therefore they will be called as harmonic conjugate to each other they will be called as harmonic conjugate so for u v is the harmonic conjugate and for v u is the harmonic conjugate so using the cauchy riemann equation we can find out the harmonic conjugate of any function which is uh, you know satisfying the laplace equation so we we should understand the order first we are saying that u x y and v x y are the real and imaginary part second we are saying that they are satisfying the laplace equation laplace equation involves a second order partial derivative 
So we will say that del u x x plus u y y equal to zero and v x x plus v y y equal to zero, and they are said to have continuous second order partial derivative. Since f z is analytic, therefore u and v separately will be analytic. Therefore, they will be satisfying Cauchy-Riemann equation, and then they will be called as harmonic harmonic functions if they are satisfying Laplace equation. If they are harmonic function, then they will be called as harmonic conjugate to each other. That is, u x y will be the harmonic conjugate to v x y, and v x y will be the harmonic conjugate to u x y. Whenever u is given, then we can find out the v using this relation, and whenever v is given, we can find out u using these relations. So we'll make this thing more clear with the help of one example. So we'll take one example. So first of all, some u is given, and we we need to verify that verify that u x y x square minus y square minus y is harmonic and find its find its harmonic conjugate. Because we know that if function is harmonic, we can always find out its harmonic conjugate. So, so first of all, we will find out whether this u x y, which is given to us as x square minus y square minus y, whether it is harmonic or not. So, it is harmonic if it satisfies the Laplace equation. Laplace equation is u x x plus u y y. Is equals to zero. So we need to check whether the given function is satisfying this equation or not. So first, for that, we need to find out the first order partial derivative of u with respect to x first. So it is two x, and then u x x is two, then u y is minus two y minus one, and u y y is minus two. So we can say that u x x plus u y y is two minus two, so it is coming out to be zero. So the given function u x y is satisfying the Laplace equation. Therefore, since the given function u x y satisfies the Laplace equation, therefore it is said to be. Therefore, it is harmonic, and we know that if a function is established as an harmonic function, then we can find out its harmonic conjugate. So we we are asked to find out that if the function given function is harmonic, we need to find out its harmonic conjugate. So to find out its harmonic conjugate, we will use the Cauchy-Riemann equation. So Cauchy-Riemann equation says that. So u x y is given as x square minus y square minus y. So Cauchy-Riemann equation says that u x is equal to v y and u y is equal to minus v x. So for from this we can find out that u x is nothing but two x, which is equal to v y, and u y is equals to minus two y minus one, which is Minus v x. So from this first relation, we got the first order partial derivative of u v with respect to y, and from the second relation, we got this first order partial derivative of u with respect to x. So we'll make use of them to find out the expression for v. We have to be very very careful in finding in calculating v now and onwards. So we can start with either expression. So let us start with v y, v x. That is v y. So v y is two x. So let me call this as relation number one, and v v x as two y plus one. This is relation number two, and the aim is to find out v x y. So we will integrate one with respect to with respect to y. So we will get v as 
2xy and remember here we cannot take it as constant of integration because v is a function of two variables that is x and y. So there might have been some function of x which would have become 0 when we have differentiated this v with respect to y. Therefore that should be taken as h of x. You can see this that if we differentiate this let us say 3. If we differentiate this 3 with respect to y, this expression will be giving us 0. So therefore, we cannot take it as constant. We need to find out the if there is any possibility that some function of x had been involved here. Therefore, we need to we uh, need to write down this as function of x. Now, we have used the relation number 1. Now, we will make use of relation number 2. So to find out the relation, to make use of relation number 2, differentiate this 3 with respect to x with respect to x. So, we can find out as vx as 2y plus h dash x and let me call it as 4. Now, there had been only one vxy for which we know the vx by two expressions that is expression number two and expression number four. Therefore, both the expression needs to be same. Therefore, so from expression two and four, from expression number two and four, we can conclude that h dash x is one because it is 2y plus h dash x equals to 2y plus 1. So, we can conclude that h dash x is 1. And when we integrate this with respect to x, so hx can be written as x plus c. And now we can write down the coefficient of integration as constant because now h was the function of x only, y has already been taken care of. So, we will substitute this expression of hx in 3. So, let me uh, name this as uh, 5. So, using 5 in 3, using 5 in 3, we can write vxy as 2xy plus x plus a constant of integration. So, this becomes the harmonic conjugate of the given function vxy. Now, now they can be written together. So, fz as u plus iota v where u was x square minus y square minus y and plus iota 2xy plus x plus c. So, this will be the complete complex function which we, we were able to write down this vxy because the function was uh, analytic and u satisfies the Laplace equation. And we, when it satisfies the Laplace equation, then we were able to say that this is the harmonic function. As soon as we are able to find out that u is harmonic, we can always find out its harmonic conjugate by applying this method. So, Similar uh, process can be done in the reverse way. Suppose we are given v, then we can find out this u using the same method. So, in this part of the video, we have learned what do we mean by harmonic function and when a function is said to be a harmonic function. When a function becomes harmonic, then the u and v becomes harmonic conjugate to each other. When they become harmonic conjugate to each other, then either of them is given then other part can be evaluated using Cauchy-Riemann equations. So, I am sure you must have liked the video. So, for more details, you can refer to the book from S. Chand Publishing. Details are given on this side. Link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon for notification of the upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.